In this lesson, I'll show you how to make particles uh, follow a spline. First, let's create some particles. Go to Simulate Emitter, Create Basic Emitter. I want to create 1,000 particles constantly per second. So go back to the beginning and play the animation. You'll see that 1,000 particles are created every second. And to make the particles att get attracted to the uh, spline, you have to go to Simulate Modifiers and create a Follow Spline modifier and drag the helix onto the target spline. Now, if you go back to the beginning and play the animation, you'll see the particles uh, are bunched up at the start of the spline because we need to reverse the direction of the spline, select the helix and uh, check Reverse. Now, if you play the animation, you'll see they are... Uh, immediately attracted to the spline and then go along the spline. The speed of the attraction can be uh, modified if you select the follow spline by the attract strength. So if you make it very uh, high, you'll see that particles are fat, are quickly attracted to the spline, but then they change their speed uh, according to the follow strength speed. If you increase that to, uh, you go back to the beginning, you'll see that the particles go along the spline in a very quick way, but they bunch up at the end. That's because the track strength is very strong, so we have to uh, increase it to maybe 1.4. And when they reach, when the particles reach the end of the spline, they continue in their path. That's because the exit behavior is continue. You can also change it to kill, so they die at the end of the uh, spline, like uh, so, or they you can also change it to switch group. So if you had a, another group in the uh, scene, you can just drag it here, or you can create a new group and um, apply uh, forces to the new group. For example, uh, go to simulate forces, let's apply a turbulence and make it a child of the new group to apply specifically to it and increase the strength and the scale. Now, if you go back to the beginning, play the animation, you'll see that the new group. Let's select the group to distinguish it from the previous one. The new group is affected by the turbulence, but not the original group. And this is how you make particles follow the spline.